Hey guys, it's Drew with Akusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some coins that we've held back and why have we done so? Why do not sell every coin that we have? A lot of important things to listen to in this video. Let's get it started. So for all who don't know, a Rattler holder is basically something that you know, they, PCGS used this, this holder from 1986 to 1989. And the reason why they call it a rattler is because when it, you basically can hear it shake, uh, the coin shake in the holder. And a lot of these have been come, become very collectible in the past 30 years. And a lot of people are setting them back. The reason why I buy Ike rattlers is because there's not many out there that either don't have PVC on them, but also that it's just kind of, it was a newer coin at the time. You know, if, if this one was made in 74, and they stopped putting coins in holders in, in Rattlers in 1989. A lot of these just weren't sent in. They weren't popular. They haven't gained their traction in the numismatic space. And so I've been buying a lot of these because I think that they're undervalued. And we're going to show you guys a comp right now of something that sold last night. It's a 1974S Eisenhower dollar sold for uh, $155.01, I think, plus shipping. It was rated MS66, okay? And uh, this is a 1974S, the same date, graded one grade higher. This one, I think I bought for around 40 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. And uh, so sometimes you just gotta go with your gut, understand where you're at uh, and where the market is, and uh, try to collect something that you enjoy. We're trying to get a whole Rattler set together of Ikes, of Morgans, and uh, the reason being is because we feel, like I said, a lot of them are undervalued. And in return, in the next few years, uh, a lot of these are just going to go up. And we talked about uh, recently in one of our videos that sometimes as a dealer, it's not best to sell a coin as soon as you get it, right? There's the, there's the immediate return, there's the long term, and then there's a stent of time. There's a medium kind of, uh, you know, in between there. And seeing these, you know, when I was buying them at $30, $40, dollars now sell for $150, $250, $350 has really opened my eyes to, you don't need that immediate return as a coin dealer. You need those medium returns to really get your money and to really be able to progress your business and find coins that people like as well. And so uh, let's show you guys a few of these Eisenhower dollars. Let's show you guys uh, a few Morgans that we have. You're really gonna like what we have to show you. So a lot of people have been asking what coin shows will we be at in the next few months? There's three in particular that we wanna talk to you about. We're gonna be at Grapevine in Dallas. Um, we're going to be there next month at the first week of July. We're going to be set up there with Shane from Reliable Coins. Uh, the next show we're gonna, we might be going to is Summer Fun in Florida. That one we're not set up at, but we'd like to say hi and talk to you guys if we make it. And the third one, which is the most important, is the Tyler Coin Show. We were able to you know, be there, set up there possibly, and also uh, be able to film for them and show off their awesome show. So make sure to check out all those links down below. So here are the coins that we wanted to showcase and display for you guys today. A lot of these you guys have seen recently, but there's also ones you haven't seen in a while. And we're gonna give you a little bit of backstory, but also a little bit of sold comps and where all these things are, and the reason why we bought some of them. And a lot of it in terms of pricing has to do with these down here. These are the Eisenhower dollars I was talking to you guys about. Um, the reason why, like I said, I'm buying these because I feel like they're undervalued and a lot of people have been buying into Rattlers and kind of been overlooking Ikes. And so this is one of my favorites. This is 1971S, Proof 67, uh, Eisenhower dollar. The reason why I like this one so much because it has that really nice looking cameo to it. It does have a little haze, which you're gonna find on a lot of these. They don't accept these at CAC, but maybe one day. I haven't really checked if there's a variety for this or anything like that, but really ecstatic about this. As you can see as well, there's kind of you know two stacked on top of each other here. There's four here, there's two here. And the reason being is because I'm trying to assemble many sets, duplicate sets if possible. If I run into one of these at a show for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, I'll just buy it. And the reason being, like I said, things online sell for way, way more than what they do at shows sometimes. And so that's why I buy these. And I'll just, like I said, one day I'll be buying all these and putting them in their own sets. And then maybe I'll sell them at the right time. And I think that'll be a lot more better for the collector. Here are two duplicates. Uh, this is 1976S. Um, Eisenhower dollar. This one has a little bit of film as you can see on the obverse, but still a nice looking proof for sure. I think I was, this one was like 
$40. Uh, a guy that I uh, often sell World Trade Center stuff to, he found this at like the, I think the pan show for like 30 bucks or something. And ended up send it, sending it to me and there's very few 1976S proofs in these rattlers. And so that's why I bought them. I also have the sheet to how many are available in certain grades, the 1989 Rattler Pop Report, if you guys don't know about that. I'll, uh, I'll try to leave an image in this video for you guys to take a screenshot of and uh, have so you guys can keep an eye out for it. I got another one of those as well, just because, like I said, I just don't run into them that often. And I do like the eye appeal of this one a little bit more, just less haze on the coin. I know there's some right in front of the face here, but that's okay. Um, just really enjoy the design of the coin, but also the history of the holder. Bought this one on eBay. I bought, I paid a lot for it at the time that what I thought, but like I said, a lot of these have been trending upwards and I haven't sent a few of them to CAC. Um, I really want to send a few because I think a couple of them might pass. This one might be one of them, just not very many spots on it or any PVC that I can see. And so I really do love these coins. And like I said, I was trying to, uh, show you guys a little bit of the sold comps of these. And as I'm talking, I'm gonna show you guys sold comps on, of eBay for these coins in the past few kind of uh, months, just so you guys can get a clearer picture of everything that I'm talking about, because I want you guys to find coins like this at shows and possibly you know, make some money, offer them to some people that might be needing them. Uh, a few 1972Ss, this is the one I probably <laughs> spent a whole bunch of money on for sure, but it's, it's all right. Uh, I, I bought these because, like I said, I want to assemble the sets, and this is kind of like that, uh, you know, just showing you guys that buy as many as you can. I'm not trying to make investment advice or anything like that, but like I said, a lot of these I feel like are just undervalued. 30, 40 bucks in, uh, you know, just a tougher kind of rattler to find. Uh, two 1974 S's, like I said, I didn't pay too much for this one when we were talking about it in the beginning of the video, and I don't see too many problems with this coin. There is a little PVC, I believe, on it. But hey, who knows, it might actually pass at CAC. And so I might send this one and the other 74S. Um, the thing about it when we're buying so many of these is that we often just go put it in the personal collection and overlook sending them in. And so I've got to get back to doing that for these. 73S um, is the only one I have. This one was sent into CAC, but as you can see, there's kind of some film on it right between the B and the R and all the way down the left side of the face. Hey guys, if you guys are enjoying today's video, please leave a like. Wanted to share a little bit about my personal collection because I'm really ecstatic about it. Casey's been collecting a lot of stuff as well. And so it's been a real pleasure to do so. Uh, comment your thoughts about the coins. Have you seen an uptick in older holders selling for a lot of money? We would like to, uh, like to know that down below. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new. And we were talking about trying to assemble different sets, but I really want to assemble a CAC set of Ikes, which is going to be nearly impossible. I would say about 95% uh, of these have either film or aren't measuring up to the grade. Just a lot of them are not CAC worthy. And so I ended up buying three of them this week for the collection, three Eisenhower dollars. I'm going to pop up with that image right now for you guys just to show you because our Rattler set is really evolving and we just got another one that is CAC approved. Super excited about that. That's, that one just was a huge win for us. Um, been starting up the, the two and a half gold set here. And the reason being is because I feel like these are undervalued as well. Gold has really trended upward in the past two years just because of everything that's been going on. And they become quite expensive. And uh, this one, like what we saw recently, was a big win for us. But there's two others that I really do like as well. Trying to assemble another date set because when we're talking about you know five to seven year stents on certain things that you want to sell having a full set of something that can be sold um, to, to a collector is a lot easier and you also have more value that you can pass on to them they don't have to go look for a 1905 or a 1903 they can have everything because you got that for them and they'll see that kind of uh, diligence due diligence and they'll see that kind of uh, perseverance and that might be a great client for you but also um, they just know that if they're going to be buying with you, they'll be buying the best. All these are CAC approved. Um, here's a gold dollar that I bought uh, kind of recently. This is the Type 2 gold gold dollar Isabella. And uh, I'm sorry, the Indian Princess, my apologies. This one's CAC approved as well. Um, I thought I overpaid for this coin, but I see a lot of them going for pretty expensive money. And there's not really too many that are in uh, Rattlers at this point that I can see. And... Uh, I just thought it was a neat piece. 
Uh, here's a few kind of coins that, uh, you know, I made a mistake on this one like we showed you guys in the Mississippi uh, kind of show. This one is a buffalo that I bought just because it has really nice kind of color to the coin. I really like that and it is CAC approved. I think I paid about 10 times, not probably not 10 times, probably four or five times what this coin's worth just because of that color and just because it's in a rattler. And like I said, sometimes uh, you might get a few coins that are super cheap, 30, 40, 50 bucks, and there's some that you might have to overpay for. And when everything all settles out at the end, just know that you're gonna be paying a lot less than market value, especially if you're gonna be paying for a set. Uh, this one I, I am setting back and I've been offered pretty interesting money. I think 64 money for this coin. It didn't even, it didn't even CAC sticker. And um, the reason why is because there's not many of these that I've ever found or seen in holders like this in Rattlers. And uh, the California, uh, you know, the state's a piece of crap, in my opinion. But uh, I love the design of this coin, him prospecting, and that, uh, you know, that beautiful bear on the reverse. Here's our newest addition to the collection. This is a 1905 Barber Quarter. I ended up paying $200 more than sold comps, you know, are trending at for this coin. But I think there's like less than 500 of these that are even in holders, you know, 1905 Barber Quarters to begin with. This one has a really nice kind of uh, bluish red and orange to it. And uh, it is CAC approved. And there also is some color on the reverse as well. I do like this coin. And, and when, I, when I find one coin that I really like from a certain series in a Rattler, then it really tempts us to start looking for every single thing in that, in that series for a Rattler. And try to get them CAC approved and try to get them, you know, eventually in a set. And so, show you guys this one from the TNA show. This one I want to show you guys because I thought, you know, I paid a good price for it. This is actually a full head, which it wasn't denoted right here in the grade. But if you look up this number here, basically that is a full head. And the last one that just sold on Grade Collection sold for around $600. We paid $375 for this coin on a whim just because we know it's pretty hard to find and to me it felt like a really special coin and so sometimes at that at the time you need to just make your best assessment and then later you'll be proven either right or you'll be proven wrong and uh, here are the tone morgan set that we've been working on this one was our most recent one right here as you guys saw from the tna show just immense color on this coin and the reason why we've really been setting back morgan dollar rattlers is because uh, they're so collectible. They're so people are, keep looking for them, and they're very sought after. And once one is off the market, I feel like it takes forever for it to get back on the market. And I know there's a lot of people on Instagram and people that buy from auctions that buy up all of these that they can, even if they have to spend extra money. And the reason being is because, like I said, they go into collections and they come out in 25 years, 10 years sometimes if you're lucky. And so all of these are CAC approved. All of them are really beautifully toned. You saw the one from TNA also. This is the, the Ben the Coin Geek signed coin. Bought this one for $165. And I think I was offered around 350 for this coin. And so, like I said, demand is huge for these. You guys, you gotta keep an eye out for these. Um, another coin that we ended up buying. And like I'm saying, there's a lot of coins that you guys can find, a lot of coins that can make your business better or make your collection better. This is an 1888 Morgan dollar. And if you guys have been watching us for a while, you've heard a story about this coin. And we bought this on eBay with bad photos for $125. We were offered $800 for this coin from somebody before it went to CAC. And we were like, oh, let's just send it. The, the cheek looks pretty clean. Ended up coming back a gold CAC. And I, th I would value this coin probably around anywhere between $1,300 to $1,500 now. And so, like I said, it, there's one more, there's actually another tip before I talk to you guys more about this. If you guys ever even have an inkling of keeping a coin for a little bit, trying to understand a little bit more about it, even if you have an offer on the table that you feel is a little bit tempting, I would wait. And the reason why I would wait is because there's something that's telling you that it's worth more than it is. And most of the time, you're probably going to be right. On this coin, I was offered a ton of money for. On this coin, I was offered a ton of money for. And then when we sent them both in, they ended up going gold CAC. It's because someone else basically told us without telling us that these coins were, were worth more than what they were offering. And that's just something for you guys to understand and pick up on. I'll give you guys a brief look at these before we wrap up today's video. Filled in the slot for 8040 a while back. Really nice, interesting toning in this one. Kind of that purple-orange. Has a 
it has a fingerprint on it, but I feel like as a 63, this one's really, really good shape. Um, a lot of these are from Casey's collection because Casey really was drawn to these and Casey actually got me into buying a lot of stuff and keeping it back because at the end of the day, it's going to help us the most in our business, but also when we uh, you know, want to share our personal collection, it'll be really a great sight to see. Last one you guys have seen a little bit, probably the coolest one of all of them, 1885 Morgan Dollar MS61PL, odd grade, and has a CAC sticker. Whenever I post this on Instagram, people just lose their mind. But really beautiful coin. Thank you guys for taking a look at all these coins. I hope it was informative for you guys, especially when you're you know, trying to source coins, but also asking yourself what you want to keep. Let's roll, let's take it to the outro. One more announcement, we're always buying coins. If you guys want to sell us coins, AkushaCollectibles.com, or you can reach out to me personally, 832-538-4122. It's not no random text message group, it's directly to my cell phone number. We buy strong, we pay strong for coins like this that you're gonna see in this video, and we also buy everything. So we'd be happy to take a look and send you an offer. Freedom Coin Show podcast, a lot of traction on the first, first kind of episode. Make sure to check out that, that episode as well.